Hey, Grace and Peace family. This is Charles here with another Midweek Recharge. And this week, I want to talk about the intimacy that's produced from love, uh, and specifically from, from God's love. Now, what's interesting is I think often when we think about intimacy um, as it pertains to love, particularly here in the United States and sort of the Western part of the world, we automatically go to uh, romance that's associated with love. And there is absolutely a romantic element, a romantic component when we think about intimacy. Uh, but there's more than that. And it's possible to have an intimate relationship that is not based in or does not include or even feature romance. And God is looking for and desires and models a kind of intimacy that doesn't necessarily feature romance. Now, when we think about scripture, I think, you know, when we think about kind of romance and intimacy in scripture, we go to Song of Songs or Song of Solomon, um, as it's, uh, it's referred to. And uh, between the, the woman and the lover and um, that God is, is, is both the lover in some instances and God in some instances. And there's the, there are these great descriptions about um, uh, sheep and, and smile and kiss and wine and cheeks and all sorts of great stuff. And so there is absolutely kind of that romantic component there. But as we look, even uh, even in Song of Songs, there are lots of descriptions of that intimate love that don't include elements of romance. And I even think about something like um, the 23rd Psalm, which I think is a very familiar, famous psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside, uh, he lays me down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters and restores my soul. There's this beautiful, evocative image of this lush greenery, and we are resting there because we find our fulfillment in God and in God's love. And so my challenge for you this week is to think about the depths of affection that we express to God that is not based in romance. And to see how God may be illustrating that kind of intimacy, that kind of connection beyond a romantic kind. Do we have relationships? Do we have deep friendships where we could look at our friend and without them saying anything, know exactly what it is that they're saying? That's not a romantic relationship, but it is an intimate one. And that's what God wants. God wants our intimacy. God wants us to rest in him, and God wants to rest in us. Let that be your recharge.